he bring nothing to the table for me. It's just he brings just 25 pounds more in the night. <laughs> The, the fight on, on the night. Mm. That's it. I don't need to fight anybody. I don't need. I don't. Need, I don't need to prove anybody anything, because I. I. I remember when when this happened with Golovkin, and then I happened with this. So I don't. I don't need to prove anything with anybody. So this fight with Jaime Munguia, you need to respect him because this fight is more important than other fights. So. It is what it is, and you remember when you guys asking me for Golovkin and I fought with Golovkin, and, and, and then Callum Smith, and then Billy Joe Sonder, and then Caleb Plant, and then... So, never is enough for you guys, but I, 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 I don't need to prove anything to anybody anymore. I've been done a, 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 everything in, in my career. I respect his opinion if he's if he sober. Boxing legend Mike Tyson who will be facing Jake Paul soon in a highly anticipated clash, has made some shockingly controversial statements against Canelo Alvarez, and he didn't hold back either, claiming that he doesn't respect Tyson's opinion. What led to this conflict? Let's find out. In today's video, we are going to break down the recent drama between boxing legend Mike Tyson and current superstar Canelo Alvarez. Canelo is set to take on rising prospect Jaime Munguia in his next fight. The undefeated Munguia has been calling for this matchup for years, and now he finally gets his shot at the pound-for-pound -pound king. However, many fans and experts believe Canelo should be fighting David Benavidez instead. The 27-year-old Benavidez is seen as Canelo's biggest threat at super middleweight, but for some reason Canelo continues to avoid making that fight happen. This led Mike Tyson, one of the most legendary heavyweights ever, to call out Canelo for dodging Benavidez. Here's exactly what Iron Mike had to say. It's a shame Canelo is avoiding the fight everyone wants to see with David Benavidez. Harsh words from Mike Tyson. He essentially accused Canelo of cherry-picking easy opponents and damaging the integrity of boxing. And based on Canelo's response, it's clear those comments struck a major nerve. Now it's true that for someone who claims to fight the best, Canelo sure seems afraid of the biggest threat in his division. Canelo fighting Mungia does nothing for his legacy, it's a mismatch. As a fan of the sport, I think Canelo needs to step up and fight Benavidez next. When reporters inform Canelo of Mike Tyson's criticism, here's how the pound-for-pound -pound king responded. I would respect his opinion if he was sober. Wow, an extremely strong rebuttal from Canelo. He took aim directly at Mike Tyson's very public battles with drug addiction and told him his opinion meant nothing because of those issues. Definitely a below-the-belt verbal jab from Alvarez. He doesn't think that he needs to prove himself to a guy who's probably high on cocaine when he says those things. His legacy speaks for itself. Canelo has the right to choose and fight whoever he wants. He doesn't really have to accept any heat from a retired boxer who is looking for a big payday against an annoying YouTube celebrity turned boxer. Tyson couldn't even handle his fame and money back in the day. He wasted his entire career snorting coke and treating people like crap. Now he expects me to care what he says about Canelo dodging fights and not listening to the fans. He's writing his own legacy just like Mike did back in his prime. So he certainly doesn't need any advice who is willing to put his legendary status at stake against a joke of a boxer. At this point, Canelo is just hurling insults. It's clear Tyson's words got deep under his skin. While Tyson had addiction issues, he's also one of the most celebrated fighters ever so for Canelo to dismiss him so aggressively is raising a lot of eyebrows. But despite the harsh clapback, Tyson does make a fair critique about Canelo avoiding his most dangerous opponent in Benavidez. Let's break that down more. The fact is David Benavidez presents the biggest threat to Canelo Alvarez out of anyone at super middleweight. Here's why. At just 27 years old, Benavidez is already a two-time super middleweight champion. His only career losses were due to missing weight or testing positive for cocaine use. Whenever he actually makes it to fight night, the man is unstoppable. Benavidez has freakish size and power at 168 pounds along with excellent technical skills. Out of his 25 professional wins, 23 have come by way of knockout. Simply put, the man has dynamite in his fists. 
and stylistically, Benavidez matches up nicely with Canelo. The high-pressure attacking style of Benavidez could back Canelo up and cause him problems he hasn't faced before. With all that in mind, it's clear why so many are lobbying for Canelo to take on Benavidez next rather than Jaime Munguia. Munguia is a good young fighter, but he already has shown defensive holes in taking big punches that Canelo will surely exploit. Those holes simply aren't there with Benavidez. The 27-year-old Munguia also just moved up to super middleweight last year, so making a title fight this soon is questionable. Meanwhile, Benavidez has been a top dog at 168 pounds for over five years now. So while Canelo keeps brushing off criticism from Mike Tyson and other fans demanding the Benavidez fight, the calls will only keep growing louder until he makes it happen. As the face of boxing who purportedly wants to take on all challenges, avoiding your most dangerous threat is certainly not a good look for Canelo's legacy. Time will tell if he ever actually bites down on his mouthpiece and gives the fans what they want with a Benavidez showdown. While the boxing world critiques Canelo's opponent choice, Jaime Munguia remains supremely confident he'll shock Alvarez and the fans when they clash. Despite having just 39 pro fights at super middleweight, Munguia is walking around comparing himself to all-time Mexican, great Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. According to our sources, Munguia is ready to face and give Alvarez a fight he'll remember for a very long time. He's going to leave everything in the ring when he fights Canelo. The fans are going to witness a new Mexican legend be born. It will be a war, but Munguia is convinced that he will emerge victorious in this highly anticipated clash. He also believes that Canelo hasn't faced a pressure fighter like him, someone who even comes near his strength and skill. Munguia's camp is confident about Canelo not being able to hold up to Munguia's pace and power. These are big, big words from Munguia, and you have to respect the determination. He isn't just happy to share the ring with Canelo, he expects to win. The only time will be if Munguia can back those words up. Canelo has only lost two fights in 62 pro bouts, Pulling the upset of the year will certainly take the perfect effort. At the end of the day, this fight against Munguia comes down to legacy for Canelo Alvarez. With three weight world titles under his belt, he's already a lock for the Hall of Fame one day. But at just 33 years old, the expectations are lofty for how much greater Canelo can make his legacy before he retires. And that legacy hinges greatly on the quality of opposition moving forward. Beating a much less experienced and accomplished fighter like Jaime Munguia will do little to enhance Canelo's reputation as an all-time great, especially when far more dangerous and deserving challengers like David Benavidez are there for the taking. Canelo even acknowledging questions about his opponent's selection shows the pressure is mounting and a loss to Munguia would be absolutely catastrophic for Alvarez's standing in the sport. But we all know a focused and determined Canelo normally rises to the occasion under the brightest lights. And you can guarantee his fiery response to Mike Tyson acts as extra motivation. I expect to see a vintage Canelo Alvarez performance that reminds the world why he's earned the label of boxing's pound-for-pound -pound king. Anything less simply opens the floodgates to intensifying criticism which Canelo clearly seems desperate to avoid. That's all for today's Breakdown Fight fans. Let me know who you think wins between Canelo and Munguia. And should Canelo fight Benavidez next? And that was today's News Updated. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. While you're at it, press the bell icon to never miss any news updates from our channel. We'll be signing off. See ya.